So after episode 5 and how dark it was of Cowboy Bebop, uh, I feel like this episode is not going to get much better because we are jumping onto episode 6, which is titled Sympathy for the Devil. Which, I mean, like, it, it sounds dark already, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this episode. So we're going to be jumping into the reaction and the discussion like normal, so let's jump into it. Welcome to Nonstop Antonio, where I talk about everything nerdy. I love Marvel, DC, and anime, and if you do too, I hope you enjoy this video. We got some water this time, starting off the thing. Oh. Oh. A lab doctors waking up with someone. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's an eyeball. Oh, te organs and test tubes. Okay, are we gonna get into some cloning now? Are we in cloning? There's just a little blue orb. Oh, look at the little fishy. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Why did this guy have a bunch of tubes going into his mouth? Eyeball? Robot eyeball? Oh, yep. Oh, it's Spike. Oh, shit, was Spike done experiments on? Okay, what's up with Spike? Is this more of his backstory? Is it gonna be very dark and twisted? In some way? Hey, this little kid can uh, play the play the, the harmonica. No, not harmonica. Is it harmonica? I can't speak. You know what I meant to say. Let's do this. I want to know what's going on. Why is he watching this little kid? Dog, dog. Did you put the dog food in the oven? Little kid. Oh, no, that's the fridge. Ain, fill in. Feed in. They're becoming best friends. I wonder if we'll ever... She eating the dog food. Faye, 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 Faye. Why are you eating the dog's food? We girls are different. We have to be pampered because we're delicate and refined. Oh, it's a she. Is it? Oh. <laughs> hey, just ate all the dog food. Damn. Hipster, very cool. A baby hipster. <laughs> Wait, people said hipsters in the nineties? No doubt about it. Shit. Am I young? Do I not know this? <laughs> That's fatty. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, they actually know each other. I know what he means. Do you? Is Jet all? I mean, is Spike also gonna get one? Oh, never mind. Oh no, he's going for a ship. Hey, that other ship on the left was kind of like the one that was in the very first episode. Similar, but not exactly. The shark-looking ship. Zebra? Zebra? <laughs> he was just thrown out the window. Yeah, but Spike's got it. Spike caught him with his ship. God damn. Dude, I can't believe he was thrown out the window. What's going on? Is he dead? Oh, he was shot. Let me guess. Another bounty gone? Yet again. Yet again. Another episode? Another no bounty. Help him. Miss Stone. He was sent to save the boy? Maybe? Maybe? Either that or the... No. Definitely no. Honestly? No idea. Probably the boy. What is that? And now they're going to think Spike murdered him. Because the cops aren't smart. They never are. Oh, never mind. Apparently they're not going to arrest him. But this may be worth a hefty sum. Possibly, but what is it? I have no idea. You're not responsible for that kid, after all. Give me that. <laughs> this thing is going to pay for our food. Our food, not yours. Because <laughs> 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 Faye that. just keeps eating all the food. For an official invoice. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you got these really two big guys just eating fucking cake. <laughs> they look so out of place. Something is going on here. Well, I mean, it's weird that he kind of got flung out a window. I think someone should question that. The fact that there's a dude in a wheelchair and all of a sudden Giraffe got launched out of the window and shot. So something else is going on here, obviously. I wonder if he's part cyborg. He's probably part cyborg. He's definitely part cyborg. I'm calling it right now. Also, Spike just walked right into a trap. Wonder if the kid's a clone. Plays like an old pro. This guy isn't Zebra. What's that? Wait. Look close. Can't you see the date? What the hell? This was published thirty years ago. How can he have the same face? Wait, wait, what? Come on. Wait, is is the kid Zebra? Come here, let's talk. Ooh. The 
Oh, the kid is Zebra, isn't he? He's trying. Oh, he's trying to save the guy in the wheelchair. Sorry, but I'm not a kid. Maybe. Dude, the dude kid's immortal. Yo, I mean, we are in the future. It makes sense. There is some weird shit that's got to go down, but we got an immortal kid here. Maybe a robot kid with a human brain in it, or the human brain downloaded into it, which would make sense. That's another like sci-fi thing, right? You download someone's brain into a robot. No, the, okay, it's still the kid. He plays the harmonica pretty well, though. So, gotta give him that. Give him that. I have no idea what's going on. Did he get abducted by aliens? Maybe? Maybe? I told you it was gonna get dark. I told you it was gonna get dark. God damn. The whole place was destroyed. The kid's with his parents, I'm guessing. And his, he survived, but his parents were charred up. What is with this? Does this kid have superpowers? I guess the moon? Oh. Never mind. Hyperspace skate. Oh, shit. Okay, so he is Zebra. Oh. Damn. So it is Zebra working with a kid. Well, being held by a kid. Damn. And this immortal kid. Damn, an immortal kid that was created because of a hyperspace gate exploding. Who would have seen that coming? I'm, I was thinking cybernetics, robot, cloning... Everything else except that. Damn, I'm just trying to murder that kid. Just bang, 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 bang. I mean, to be fair, if the kid is like thousands, hundreds, whatever years old, it's not a kid anymore. At that point, it's a fully grown adult in a kid's body. Huh? Don't be obnoxious. Come on, Ayn. Why did I say Ayn earlier? It's Ayn. Oh, he's crying. I can't tell if it's happy tears, sad tears. I mean, he's paralyzed. Oh, they can, they have the technology. I mean, it makes sense. They have technology to go through people's, like, memories. Future, it's pretty cool. Oh, shit. And it all comes back. That was one, that, that was a powerful gun if it launched him out of the window. They're gonna be taking out a kid now. Well, they're gonna be taking down an immortal kid. You know what? These guys, they're bounty hunters, but they're true. They're heroes. They are heroes. They have gone out of their way to do so many things that they didn't have to do. Like this, they don't have to do this. I just thought I'd say goodbye, Scout, since I'm sure it's the last time I'll be seeing you. <laughs> are you leaving us? No, I mean... <laughs> Damn, the kid just kills the taxi driver and takes it. Jesus. Damn, this kid is brutal. I mean, I guess if you've lived for a year, hundreds of years, at a certain point, uh, you're just a killer. Straight into the gas pump. Boom. Damn. He's just gonna walk out of it like in a more Wait, he better? Yeah. Oh, my God. Kid just walks out. Look at that. He looked... That's why it's called Sympathy for the Devil, because this bastard is pretty much the devil. Dude, Spike is a badass. He just stood there while it all happened. Oh shit, is it gonna work? Some weird mystical stuff. He's getting turned into an old man. God damn. I mean, he's, he's just a corpse now, right? He's too old to survive this. Your time is up. Also, you just got shot in the head. How are you? Yep, you fall to the ground. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, he's actually happy about dying. To be fair, 
living living forever is kind of a curse. Damn. You know what? Being immortal is a curse because the longer you live, the more people you watch you love die, the more people around your life that you'll like you'll never see again because you they'll age you and so on. And also his life turned into a very dark and twisted life from what it what should have been. Damn. Cool. Very again, a very dark episode. That was dark, but in a different way. So let's let's talk about it. This was a cool story, this episode, because like the way they started off with the experimentation, and I thought it was gonna be like cybernetics, cloning, or just like genetic experiments. To be fair, there was experiments done on that kid, but it was a little different than what I thought was gonna happen. Overall, it was pretty cool though that this hypergate exploded, creating this immortal child because of all the particles that came off of it and i thought it was interesting that this kid used different people throughout his life to pose as a father in a wheelchair so that he could just pass as being this kid so if anyone got too close he would have to take him out because you know as soon as someone found out he was immortal he'd be taken and experimented on because well you see an immortal kid what are you gonna do right you're gonna be like how is this kid still alive he was alive 30 years ago why is he the same age let's experiment on him what i find interesting about this show is that jet and spike are bounty hunters yet it seems like every episode, they never get their bounty, but they always end up doing the right thing and being heroes in a sense. Because in this episode, they go to save Zebra after Giraffe asked him to, and they actually dove into it. Like anyone else could have said, screw this, and went and did something else. But they turned around and went and helped them and took down the little kid. To be fair, Spike almost died doing it, so of course he would probably want revenge after being shot. And they still looked into it and tried to help Zebra. They never really showed us what happened to Zebra in the end. I'm assuming he's paralyzed for life and he cannot move, so he's probably going off to some medical facility or he's going to die. But it's interesting to see these bounty hunters actually be heroes. Also, I found it hilarious that Faye ate dog food. We've had two pretty dark episodes back to back, which I think is adding a lot to the story rather than just being them kind of going on adventures. And it's really interesting and I really like the characters and where they're going because again, these guys were bounty hunters and they're pretty much heroes because they don't end up getting their bounties at all. And they always just end up helping the people that they run into. Very interesting plot point. It also makes it that there are more supernatural type things happening in this world. Because we have the kid who's immortal because of the hyper space ex gate explosion. Which is thin. It's really interesting. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens going forward. And I'm very intrigued to see what other kind of weird shit we're going to see. Like cyborgs, cloning, maybe superpowers. Because even though it's like a cowboy western, they've already had something that's kind of way out there compared to what I would think there would be in like a futuristic show. So curious to see what other kind of weird and odd things we're going to see. Very good anime, like really good anime. I understand why it has such a high rating and I cannot wait to watch episode 7. Let me know what you thought of episode 6 down in the comments. And if you want to see more of my anime reacts or my anime, first ever anime series, check the description below because I will have them all listed so you can check them out. And hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to watch episode 7. I'll talk to you later.